So right now we're going to look at the WordPress dashboard. This is the first page you come to after you log in to WordPress. It's essentially your nerve center for controlling your blog. Um, we're going to look at a few different areas today on the dashboard, uh, the header, the sidebar, and the main body of the page. Um, first up really is the left-hand navigation bar. This is where you can get to all of the pages you need to get to to control your blog, essentially, from posts and pages to links. Uh, we will look through these elements in more detail later, but this is really your main way to get around inside of um, your WordPress site. In the middle, you see uh, a lot of little content modules and kind of an interesting thing about the content modules is that you can actually grab them and move them around to customize how it appears um, for you when you come in. Uh, I actually kind of like the default one, so I'm going to move it back. But if you want to move things around, um, you can do that just by clicking this little gray bar and grabbing it there and dragging it down. Pretty simple, pretty nice, pretty flexible. Um, and it will stay customized for you um, when you're logged in um, with your username and password. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, really, what's kind of going on in, in, the, in this main area is there are some snapshots of your site, of your blog. Um, you see the top area right now just sort of gives us the number of posts and comments and tags, uh, the version of WordPress we're using, the theme name, the number of widgets. Over here is a Google Analytics summary. I've got a plugin running on my site that tells me um, visitors, etc. It's connected to my Google um, Analytics account. Down here is the comments, uh, recent drafts. This quick press piece here allows you to do a post. Uh, very quickly right from this interface without actually going to the page. Um, then down here in the bottom what you really have is sort of a finger on the WordPress world, um, the broader world of WordPress from links that are coming into you, folks that are linking to you from other sites, which is a nice feature actually of WordPress. Um, some plugins here, uh, I like this because it's fun to uh, fun to see what's popular, what's being used. It's a nice window into some ways to extend the functionality of your WordPress site. Um, and then you've got news from the blog and other WordPress news. Um, up in the header here, you'll see the title of our site, and this will actually take you to the site. Um, we've got a little menu here, which is a new post. Um, it lets you actually do new posts. This changes contextually, but the uh, elements in here are always the same. It just sort of lets you know where you are or, or where you can go. You can do your drafts or new page. Here's a personalization. That's me. It lets you edit your profile. Turbo is... Um, something you can do to speed up your site. Uh, it will cache it on your computer. Um, WordPress is a dynamic um, platform, meaning that every time you load a page, it, it builds it from a database. Um, so if you want to speed up the performance of it on your computer, you can actually download and cache all of the files that you use so it runs more quickly. This is your logout button. Um, up here are a couple of nifty little things. Uh, you can get help with dashboard, um, and it tells you sort of just an overview of what you can do on the uh, on the dashboard with these modules down below. It also takes you then into documentation and support form. So WordPress.org um, has a is a tremendous resource and has tremendous amounts of information. If you run into anything, um, you can actually go to the documentation or to the support forms and sort of type in your problem and chances are it's going to be there. Um, and this appears, this little help button appears on every page to close it, you click that. Um, and then right here we can uh, actually control in the dashboard what appears in certain places. You can see your column set up and all of these things. So if you don't want any of these things in there, you can uh, take them out. But this is just a real brief overview of the dashboard. Um, you know, I invite you to play around with your own dashboard and, and just get comfortable with it uh, and see those things. But if you need help, you can come back here and check this out. Thank you for watching.